and Brenda Lee got her first number one pop hit in a song called Fool Number One. The biggest fool of all. The effort that Doyle Wilburn went through to get her on Decca Records was definitely, I think, probably the most important move that was made in her behalf. Owen Bradley took great care with his new artist. He was determined to capture Loretta's unique, plain-spoken appeal. It was important that she stand apart from his other female acts, particularly Kitty Wells, who had been a hero to Loretta since her early days in Washington. It wasn't God who made honky-tonk Bradley and others had noticed the similarity between Loretta and Kitty's vocal style. Patsy Montana looked at me and said, you'll never make it. And I said, why? She said, you sound like other girl singers I know, which was Kitty Wells. And I did. I patterned myself after Kitty Wells. It's to his credit that he waited and held her until she had the right songs and had developed to the point that there would be no question she was not a Kitty Wells knockoff. Owen Bradley's extra care paid off. 